Vor langer Zeit lebten die Menschen glücklich und zufrieden. Niemand bemerkte den Schatten, der sich langsam über ihnen ausbreitete. Die Dunkelheit trübte ihre Sinne und das Böse fraß sich tief in ihre Seelen. Vom Wahnsinn getrieben schmiedeten sie einen Pakt mit dem Teufel. Zu später Stunde kamen sie zusammen, um gemeinsam die Mächte der Finsternis mit ihrem sündigen Blut zu rufen. Sie zu erlösen von ihrer sterblichen Existenz, den Anbeginn einer neuen Welt vor Augen. gab es sich, dass nach 100 Jahren das Böse wieder Fleisch geworden war. Als unsterbliches Geschöpf der Nacht kam es die Gestalt des Wolfs, der Fledermaus oder des Nebels annehmen. Es labt sich am Blut der Menschen. Dracula, der Fürst der Finsternis, Herr des Teufelsschlosses, ist auferstanden. Alright, hey there everyone, this is Histrix, here with Dracula X Chronicles, the remake of Rondo of Blood. And today I have a guest with me, would you please introduce yourself so I don't have to. Hello, my name is Shogunis and it's very nice to be here. Are you sure? I don't oh, have to I'm say it like that. Well, may maybe not with death. <laughs> well, we have a date with death in the prologue, as you can see, so this is... This is pretty tough challenge to actually throw at the beginning of the game because death is typically like the second to last boss. Yes, yeah, so is he quite challenging here? Um, no. No. No, if you can see, I'm pretty much taunting him. <laughs> pretty much telling him to bring it. So, people will probably already see the Rondo videos and, um, know those horses did not just stay in place right there. You didn't see a thing. But people have probably already seen the Rondo videos, so it's pretty useless to explain some of the other things because this is really pretty much a remake. But there is some there is some stuff exclusive to this version that I'll have to point out. But for the I most part, all you're really doing is seeing this in like 3D. It's rather nice looking 3D. I would like to know how you. <laughs> yeah, there's a cutscene. Don't worry, I'll I'll. I'll leave your little blurb there. How lovely. A fitting girl for Count Dracula. Now, come to me. No! I'll never submit to your master. I'd sooner die here. Huh. So much the better. Besides, once you marry my lord, death will lose all meaning for you. Richter! Hold a moment, Shaft. Of course, Master. What brings you here? That young lady has a certain connection with my old foes, the Belmonts. Bring her alive. I have a most amusing idea. By your command. The master bids you sleep, girl. We must prepare a proper welcome, Belmont. So, uh, what do you know about Castlevania 2? Um, I know very little about well, the Castlevania that, uh, series. That's in a general. reference to it right there. Because this is apparently our hometown, which is the, ah. I believe, starting town in Castlevania 2? Uh, I do know, I do know that. Yeah, it's... At the very least, with my very little knowledge. 
Yeah. I do actually have a question about Wonder and Blood in general. Okay. Because was this the last game before Sympathy of the Night? So is this the last game before the so-called Metroidvania? Um... Yes and no, really. Uh, really, Dracula X, uh, the remake of Rondo of Blood for the SNES, was probably yeah. the last true classic Vania. I think Bloodlines came out uh, like a year before. Classic Vania. Because I know the original Rondo was in 93. Yeah, 93. Uh. Oh, so you appear to be fighting a... you rare uh, fighting a golem. No, I'll fight another one, don't worry. Oh. Look. He has a buddy. There's... There's not, nothing strange about that at all. Uh, other than the fact that apparently that golem is very popular. Um, only because it got a cameo of some sort as a playable fighter in the horrible Wii game. <laughs> oh yes, that one. Yeah, that's in judgment. And it's referred to as being the one from Rondo of Blood, apparently, in the instruction booklet, or something like that. But, uh, oh, hey, we're at our first boss, which is the Wyvern. Um, yeah, if you notice in the background there, you can see a castle. Yeah? We just came from the town that was burned down by Dracula. I got I, it. I, I don't also, think that was a good idea. So So, so pretty much they I built their you're... town right next door. I see you're using the axe against this rider. Oh, you've already killed it, Yeah, you it, can't but... actually uh, jump up and hit it with your whip unless it charges down at you. So using the axe is pretty well. Um, but well, I also did the axe item crash, which is basically a flurry of axes spin around you. And that was uh, stage one. Uh, but there's also an alternate path that I have to show off, so uh, let's just do like a quick edit there. <laughs> nope, here we are. Alright, so at this entrance, before going through that door, uh, actually you can go the other way. Just go ahead and break the walls over there. So you mean go down that waterfall? No, oh no, I'm actually nope. down. Nope. That actually going down that waterfall will kill you. Uh. You gotta remember, you're a uh, Belmont, you can't really swim. <laughs> You can battle the forces of the dark, but swimming? <laughs> no. There's none of that. Uh, once Dracula learns how to breathe underwater, he'll finally conquer the world. Pretty much. Also, is this is this a boss, or is this uh, a... Nope. This is an enemy that only appears here, actually. It's actually completely useless to go over here in the original Rondo. The only reason to go here is to grab, like, one of those sound items I just picked up, which... Pretty much adds new music to your library. Uh, yeah, one of the things that you can do in this game is you can actually change the music for each level. Ah. Also, you appear to be in a well of some description. Oh god! I, when I was recording this, I hated doing this only because I kept falling off the buckets, <laughs> and I'm like jumping around as you can see right now. Yeah. I'm like trying my best to stay on the bucket, but of course, a Belmont can't really jump properly. Do you still suffer from the thing where if you get hit, you're immediately knocked back? Uh, yes. Uh, well, it depends, really. Like, if you're standing still on a platform and a bat comes by, I think, actually, you just stay in place. Uh, but some things will knock you back, and it'll be awful. And that, I'm guessing, leads to an amount of hilarious deaths. Yeah. And uh, here's our second boss, Salamander. Salamander. Hmm. Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> it seems rather aquatic to be a salamander. Yeah, I just... I originally thought its name was like the serpent or something like that because it pretty much just hangs in the water. And this attack right here is pretty annoying only because it goes ahead and coils around and it moves forward and back a little bit so if you're trying to avoid it you might accidentally bump into it. So this was uh, yeah. this took a few recordings actually to go ahead and get this with no damage. Uh, if you notice, when I went into the pre-boss room area, uh, my heart was at ten instead of what I originally had before I went through the door because I had to cut out yeah. some stuff. <laughs> yeah. Also, this is uh, a oh, hydro storm. So is this if you're going for? 
Is that your... was that um, a magic attack or a crash of some kind? Yep, that was the oh, item crash okay. for Holy Water, which is probably my favorite item crash, only because it covers the whole screen, hits everything multiple times. And that was uh, stage one, all of it, pretty much. So what'd you think? Oh, I think Dracula's up to no good again. It's up to us to stop him.